Hello everyone, in this video we'll be looking at simultaneous equations, the rules. In this video we are looking at the simple simultaneous equations, no quadratic simultaneous equations or graphic simultaneous equations, just normal basic simultaneous equations. So first you make sure that either of the x or the y values are the same or any variables that they use in the question usually it's x or y unless it's like a scenario based simultaneous equation if the signs are the same so add and add or minus and minus then you subtract the numbers on the opposite side of the equals and the other variable in the question but if the signs are not the same so you have add a minus or minus and add then you add the numbers on the opposite side of the equal sign and the other variable in the question then you solve the equation to find the value of the first variable and then you choose any of the two original equations and substitute the value of the first variable into one of the two equations to find the second value here's an example question to show how it works solve the simultaneous equation 4x plus 2y is equal to 10 and 5x plus 3y is equal to 12. Looking at it, usually go for the variables that their product is a smaller number so that you don't have to work with really big numbers. So here, uh, 2 and 3 will have a smaller product of 6 instead of using 4 and 5 which will be 20. The first variable we'll be calculating is the value of x. So first you multiply 2 and 3 together as their product is a smaller number as I've already said. So our variables will be the same of positive 6y. Then you multiply the 4 and the 10 by 3 as whatever is done to one part of the equation is done to the other part as well. So the first simultaneous equation becomes 12 x plus 6y is equal to 30 and the bottom equation becomes 10x plus 6y is equal to 24. And then since the signs are the same, you subtract the equations and you're left with 2x is equal to 6 and then you solve the equation and you get x is equal to 3 and then now you choose any of the original equations and you substitute 3 in the place of x to find what y is equal to so i'll use this one 5x plus 3y is equal to 12 so you substitute 3 into the place of x so it's 5 times 3 plus 3y is equal to 12 and then you solve the equation to find what y is equal to so 15 plus 3y is equal to 12 you subtract 15 from both sides to get what 3y is equal to and 3y is equal to minus 3 and you sub and then you divide both sides by 3 to find out what y is equal to and y is equal to minus 1. So these three dots means therefore. So therefore x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 1. Now we're going to look at an exam question. Sometimes the equations they have to be brought out of the questions like I mentioned at the beginning about the scenario questions. So this one in a shop two coffees and three cakes cost nine pounds 95 in the same shop one coffee and four cakes cost ten pounds 35 work out the price of one coffee and the price of one cake so first you create the equations from the question usually you would use the first letter of the variables but since the first letter is both the same we use the second letter so o stands for coffee and a stands for cake so we have O plus 4A is equal to 10.35 and 2O plus 3A is equal to 9.95. Then you multiply 2 and 1 together as their product is a smaller number. So now the both of the O's are the same and then you multiply 4 and 10.5 by 2 as whatever is done to one part of the equation is done to the other as well. So now this is what the new equations look like the bottom variable stay the same because the amount of o's is the same as the top one but the top equation has been multiplied by t then you subtract the equations to get 5a is equal to 10.75 
you divide both sides by five to find out how much one cake costs and one cake costs two pounds 15 pence and then you choose any of the original equations and substitute the amount that cake is worth to find how much one coffee is worth so i chose o plus 4a is equal to 10 pound 35 and then you substitute 2.15 into the place of a so it would be 4 times 2.15 plus o is equal to 10.35 and you solve the equation so £8.60 plus O is equal to £10.35, so O is equal to £1.75. And then for your answer, you put therefore O is equal to 1.75 and A is equal to 2.15. So looking at it here, you, you can know that one coffee is equal to £1.75 and one cake is equal to two pounds 15 sometimes in the actual exam they won't have a dotted line so you would have to put a key for what your variables mean i hope you found this video useful please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share thank you for your time